Welcome back to the Wednesday Night Replay for February 1st, 2023. Up first, Vinny Grenade. Strunt earns our Lifetime Achievement Award. He originated and perfected this move decades ago. You can tell by the way he's breaking it out here. Jumps in, swings and a miss, but if you gotta die, drag your foe to hell with you. Boom, another Vinny Grenade. Outstanding. Look at that Lifetime Achievement Award in all its glory. So nice. That's not all, folks. Right off the respawn, surveys his surroundings. Chucks one into the upper deck. Boom, goes the grenade of my tag on another one up for Tainted Strunt. Sometimes you want to use your grenades and live to tell the tale. Multi-kill madness from Locke. You get a grenade, and you get a grenade, and you get a grenade too. Outstanding. This team is so excited for free fraggies that they trade a kill-tacular extermination combo. Double kill. Triple kill. Kill-tacular. And while few things are nicer than getting a multi-kill of that magnitude, sometimes you need to take a break, get a little bit of self-care in. Tea time is the answer to that. Salute the valor of your foes with a little bag and tag action. Sometimes you meet your foes square on the battlefield, and sometimes you gotta hide behind a corner and punch them in the junk. It's not really hitting below the belt if you're not wearing a belt, am I right? Little melee action there, puts Ski out of business, and following up by a long bomb shot, boom! Drip right to the drip dome. Up next, we've got Pistol Pete's Plasmatarium. Ski taking down the tank with the plasma pistol. We told you it was possible, folks. You didn't believe us, but there's the proof. Jumping in, taking over the turret, confusing the hell out of this guy. Doesn't know what to do. He's going to drive the tank. Nope, he's going to fall down and die. Sometimes you press B and you manage to hijack the vehicle, and sometimes you press B and commit suicide. Those are the brakes, folks. Fortunately, the Scourge of the Sky, the Banshee, is vulnerable and allergic to the lowly SMG. Check it out. Long range SMG kill, didn't think that was possible, but just in case, we thought it was a fluke. Came back for round two. Knocked him right out of the sky. Fantastic. Up next, we got our don't drip and drive segment, folks. Look at that sweet power slide to get the gunner in. Best driving he's gonna do because moments later, takes him to a fatal egg beater, and we are rapidly destroyed by the other team. Fantastic. That will be good enough. The next time the Warthog respawns, let's go to fight two tanks because one's not enough to destroy us. Well done, Drift. What's going on here? Oh, let's get juggled by the Gauss turret. Pretty sick air, bro. Nice spin, and we're dead. That wasn't enough for you. How about we go out and get lasered this time? Yep, we can cross that one off the bucket list, too. Betrayal of the week. Boom, it's Drip and a bumper of his Warthog. No surprise there, but it wasn't all bad, folks. Check this out. We have our gun runners of the week. Ski and Riker, fantastic shooting here. Ski's about to rack up a nasty triple kill on these guys who are apparently graduates of the Drip School of Driving. Think they can hide around the corner, but they can't. And that's the end of that for them. It's callous disregard for human life is applied correctly. Wham. Get a splatter there. Pretty nice way to wrap things up on Valhalla. Hung a sand trap, getting another splatter of another vehicle. Stick of the week brought to you by Locke. Is that a spike grenade in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? Yeah, just the tip, right on the tip, and that's the end of that. Friendly reminder, don't take cover by the fusion cores unless you want to end up like Drip right there. Until next time, folks, keep bagging and tagging. We'll see you then.